welcome back to the second video of 2021. I thought what better way than to start it with some fashion content because I have fallen into the deep black hole of vlogging and it's just comfortable to do but um, I think it's time that we mix it up with a bit of a little bit elevated content. So for this video I'm going to show you some new items that I bought throughout the past month or so. This is not all of it but um, it's definitely a good big chunk. I'm gonna show you how I'm styling it and such. And um, yeah, without further ado, I think we should just go right into the first look. Oh yeah. So uh, my boyfriend is here to help me a little bit. Um, he was a fashion student, guys. So he knows a bit more about fashion than me. Thank you. The first item that I chose to include here was this new really beautiful colored green alohas sweatshirt and this looks very basic to you guys in your first little um, blink of an eye it actually has an open back in the back which is so sexy you agree yes sexy <laughs> so sexy yes and um you cannot wear a bra with this because the top here it does not cover any bra straps so it's all free the titties for this and I'm all for it. <laughs> I got mine in the size medium, but I paired it up with my <laughs> my trusty uh, fake leather pants. This is faux leather. They are from Zara and in this lookbook I have a few items from Zara and I'm not very proud of it. I am really trying to get rid of that addiction because I know how unethical they are but you can literally pair this with anything and it looks absolutely great it can kind of roughen up a few feminine pieces as well thank you for the rest of the outfit i put on some mules and some glitter socks inside and there we go Jacquemuse. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you! This is probably the favorite item that I bought over the past two months. One month actually, I think. This jacket is beautiful and it's very special to me because it's also the first designer piece that I've ever bought. I don't know if you guys know, but I am not a huge designer type kind of person. I think Jacquemus is probably one of the only brands that I'm really, really interested in. Absolutely love this jacket. It's very cropped. It has this beautiful mint green color, which is one of my absolute favorite colors if you guys don't know that already. I really especially love this because you can see both of my tattoos underneath my boobs in this one and I think it's kind of hot. So yeah, I paired this up with my... Oh my god, he didn't know I paired them up with these pants, but he already prepared them like I did. <laughs> he didn't see me filming this, guys. He just came now, but he knew I would pair this up. You're teaching me well with your fashion knowledge. <laughs> yes, I paired them up with my super oversized kind of dad um, dress up pants. Oh. Oh, he's taking off his clothes now, guys. <laughs> These pants look exactly like someone just took their dad's pants and just like zipped them up together here because it's kind of overlaid in the binding here and they just look so good. Again, this is kind of a pant that can kind of boyishify any look. They are so versatile and um, beautiful gray color. Actually, they came as a um, set with this blazer, but look how different the color is. I don't get it. I actually wish I have gotten my Jordans by now because they would look the best with this outfit, I feel like. I wore my Converse with them. Wow, how did you know that? Oh, shit. How did you know that? <laughs> Even in that order, man. <laughs> oh shit, he can read my mind. <laughs> the third outfit is yet another basic top that might be less basic than you think because when you turn it around, it has a huge open back. This one has way more open back than the other one and I know that a lot of you guys have asked where it's from on my Instagram because I was wearing it in Busan. Please give me suggestions that has similar versatileness in their stuff as Sarah has that is not so horrible. Um, but nonetheless, this top is beautiful. I, uh, I 
usually pair this up with my leather pants, but for the sake of switching things up a little bit, I paired it up with my new um, light washed jeans. These jeans are super uh, new as well because I have to buy long jeans online. I cannot find them on in stores other than Zara, which as you guys know, I'm trying to get rid of that in my life. But um, I found these ones on a uh, website called Charcoal. This is an Australian website, so I did get a lot of texts by sending it to Korea, but it has perfect length. Like as you can see, the length is beautiful. It reaches all the way to the floor. So if you wear a platform, it's just beautiful. Again, I wish I had my Jordans because that would look way cooler with this, but they're coming hopefully soon. I am kind of sad that I didn't bring my bags. I forgot that, but obviously I would have paired all of these outfits up with a bag. Nice catch. <laughs> Yes, the dress, please. <laughs> Thank you. Here we have an item that when I bought it, I was not sure if I was ever gonna wear it. It's one of those items where you're just, this is so beautiful, but when can I ever wear it? And especially now that it's a bit cooler, but I found that actually pairing this up with chunky boots and some like night socks, that's kind of hot. I like that because it has this sleaze in the leg that's just so sexy and i remember um a month ago i wore this out with a leather jacket i forgot my black leather jacket i forgot my black leather jacket but i would have definitely worn that with that but it is such a beautiful dress it's kind of form fitting on the top and then it very naturally hangs over your hips which just gives you a beautiful figure and you have an occasional slip of leg which is ooh, a, a crowd pleaser so um but don't wear this when it's windy guys <laughs> and anyone who knows me well i love fluffy corners in my uh sleeves because i have a little bit of wide shoulders so then they at least look wide on purpose you know that's why i also wear oversized blazers and such but this dress i feel like it was made for my body it looks beautiful i feel like the boots are kind of a fake um replica of the prada boots which obviously i would have worn them over a Zara boot, but um, you know, I'm not that rich, am I? <laughs> These ones. Okay, I have had my eyes on this sweater for ages. Like, yes, it's my boob sweater. <laughs> Look at this beautiful women's body. You guys can see here we have the legs, the belly button, and then we have some boobies out over here. This is a masterpiece. This is from a brand called Paloma Wool, and it is super sustainably handmade. This is real wool, but it is um, ethically sourced, like ethically, you know, shaved off the sheep. Um, it is absolutely beautiful you hold like i don't have a lot of real real wool sweaters i think this is actually the only one and if i go outside right now guys it's minus 15 celsius degrees um if i go outside now in this it will not be cold like literally it's so warm um so that just shows quality is it's worth finally investing in some pieces and i've not been very good at that but i feel like i'm trying to get better and this is definitely one of the beautiful pieces that i've been eyeing for so long and it's constantly sold out and as soon as it came i was like ordering it immediately and it is totally worth it it's beautiful i feel like the sweater should steal the thunder from the outfit because it's so beautiful so i just wore basic black pants and some meals and some glitter socks Next item is my brown leather jacket that you guys saw on our date day in Hyundai where we went for like a staycation. Um, we went to shop this in Arcade in Hyundai and uh, we found out it was faux leather, which is great, which is why I bought it. It was not very cheap, but not very expensive either. So I think it's definitely worth it. This is a brown leather jacket and I love blazers and this is a blazer style and I also have a huge fetish for leather right now but I didn't have anything in brown which I feel like I wear a lot of black and it kind of it, it's too boring man I need a little bit of um of more color so to say 
For this outfit, I would have definitely worn my green little bag just for like a pop of color. I feel like green and brown are really beautiful together. But I decided to um, include a skirt because it is never a seasonal lookbook without there being an outfit with a skirt on. And I'm not wearing a lot of skirts these days and I don't know why. I feel like I'm losing my skirt touch and then a white top with some detail on it from another stories. And then my new favorite boots until my Jordans come. I'm just gonna say until my Jordans come. My new Alohas. They're, they did not pay me guys. I just legit love this brand a lot. It is also sustainably made. I think it's from Portugal, but these are the boots that you loved on my Instagram and that I um, am seriously, I've been waiting to get well enough because I've been sick since I got these ones. Um, but now I'm finally healthy again and I can't wait to wear these outside every single day. <laughs> and also the hat that I'm wearing, the fluffy hat, you guys always ask me um, on my previous vlogs where I've been wearing that, where it's from. And it is seriously from a little indie store somewhere in Hannam. I don't know the name of it, but this kind of hat is on the streets, the street shops of Korea everywhere. So if you're just here, just go out, you'll see it. But I don't honestly know where to get that online, I'm sorry. The last item that I uh, knew in is another item from Aloha's. This is super well made, very thick cardigan. And why especially that I love this one is the sleeves are long enough for me. <gasps> Like there's no sleeves that fit me ever in this world. I have really long arms and legs, guys. I don't have a lot of torso, but I have a lot of arms and legs. And these ones are just so beautiful. They're long. They go out kind of trumpet style here, which is super cute. Cute girls on Instagram style them with nothing underneath, which would look amazing if I didn't have boobs. But these days, my boobs have literally grown like what? Three sizes. <laughs> They're huge. He looks very satisfied right now. <laughs> I thought this uh, kind of look was really cute. It just needed the hat. So I put on the hat with it and um, that was the dot over the eye. I don't know if that's a saying in English as well, but we say that in, in, in Danish. This was all of the items that I had to show to you guys today. I am so happy to get back on track now that I'm not sick anymore. So uh, if you have any more suggestions of what kind of videos you want to see that may be a little bit more high production, let me know down below and I would love to kind of take that into consideration. Now without further ado, please follow me on my Instagram and like this video and comment down below anything because I just always read your comments. <laughs> And um, yeah, I think that's enough shameless promotion from now on. Let's, I'm really hungry, let's go eat. <laughs> Bye guys, thanks for watching. <coughs>